Good morning. It's 8 p.m. P.m. Girl, it's 8 a.m. I was actually supposed to wake up at 6.30. <laughs> My alarm didn't go off. This is the second time this has happened this season. So I don't know what the fuck is that about. The first time it happened, I was supposed to go to work and I was 40 minutes late to work because my alarm didn't go off. Today, not going to work, but I was supposed to be up at 6.30. Thank God I have a natural alarm who keeps me up all night. But thank God for her this morning because if she hadn't gone up all in my face meowing, I would still be asleep right now. Anyways, we are going to another USC tailgate. I know you just can't keep me away. Yep, we're going back to school again. Feeling a little all over the place right now. Because to be honest, I'm a little sad right now because, and it's like, I don't even know if I wanna fucking put this on the internet because what the fuck, but full transparency. Like this is just the mood that I'm in right now. And it's very unfortunate that I woke up like this, but sometimes, sometimes that's just how it is. You wake up fucking sad, particularly, you know, when you're like friends with somebody, you're close with somebody, you think you're best friends. And you start to realize that if you are not the one putting in the effort, you guys don't talk, don't hang out. There's basically no relationship. I've been in so many, so many fucking friendships like this. Like it doesn't get easier, especially when you love them so much. And this is not like a new thing at all. I've been dealing with this for like a couple months now. So this is not even new, but it just fucking sucks because your friends are so important to you. And my friends obviously mean so much to me. So to find yourself in a friendship that is one-sided is fucking heartbreaking. I've been heartbroken for a while. <laughs> it's gotten a little better because it has been a little while, but sometimes it just weighs a little heavier on you on certain days. And unfortunately today is just one of those days for me. Like I've been, I've been looking forward to this tailgate since I found out about it because I'm going with a different group of people and we're going on a party bus. So fun. I fucking love party buses. So I'm super excited. But I was totally anticipating being in a different mood getting ready for this. I was just like, I'm gonna be so happy. I'm gonna enjoy myself so much. Not that I'm not gonna enjoy myself, but I just like wasn't planning who plans on this, but I wasn't planning on being fucking sad while I did this, which Nobody ever plans to fucking be sad, but you know when you're looking forward to something and then you just don't feel as good as you wanted to in the moment, it just fucking sucks. I've been really working on when I feel shitty. I've been really being intentional about giving myself space, giving that emotion space to exist with me. Because I feel like a lot of the time when we feel shitty, what we want to do is just distract ourselves. We want to just get rid of it. We don't want to feel shitty because who the fuck wants to feel shitty? But I've found that the more I resist feeling shitty, the worse I feel. So then it's just this fucking cycle that you get stuck in about you feel bad and then you start to feel bad about feeling bad and then you feel worse because you feel bad about feeling bad and it just goes on and on and on and on. So for the past couple months, whenever I feel bad, instead of pushing it away or resisting it, I'm just like, you know what? This is how I feel right now. And I'm going to let myself feel this way. The longer you cling on to feeling shitty about it, the longer you're gonna feel shitty. And I'm, I'm tired. I'm fucking tired, bro. I'm fucking tired of feeling shitty because I feel like I've been, I've felt shitty this entire year. Like for other reasons. I've in general just had like a randomly really difficult year, but whatever, that's not the point. Even though I would much rather be in a better mood than I am right now, it's fucking okay that I feel like this. And I'm allowing myself to feel this way. Anywho, that feels better to get off my chest. Where the fuck is my brush? It's right in front of me. I really wanted to wake up this morning and not rush. I hate rushing, but my alarm didn't go off. So we just have to get ready as quick as possible because also since we're going on a party bus, if I'm late, 
the pledge is gonna go. The pledge is not gonna wait for me. I was good to myself again last night and I chose my outfit. I'm gonna wear the same windbreaker that I wore last time. The only problem is it's fucking winter basically. It's been a month since that tailgate, which you guys wouldn't really know because it's my last video, but that happened mid-October and today is November 16th. So the weather is different basically. At the time it was still like really hot during the day, but cold at night and actually, I need to check the weather. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't actually even matter. I'm just gonna have to either be cold or hot because I don't have any other outfit options. Although, whatever, you'll, we'll just, we'll figure it out. We'll fucking figure it out. I swear to God, I was a fucking pop star in my past life. I used to want to be a pop star so bad. Like it was literally my childhood dream to become a pop star, which is kind of like out of left field because I'm so fucking anxious, like so fucking socially anxious. I could not even do school presentations without having like a full blown panic attack and crying in front of the entire class. I went to like a private Christian elementary school and we had choir class. And in choir class, we were required to choose a song and sing it in front of our entire class. I was so anxious that when it was my turn to sing, I started crying and I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. And then the ki the fucking kids, when we were getting picked up from school, sitting in the parking lot, the fucking kids would gossip about me and be like, oh, she was just crying for attention. Like, girl, my fucking dream is to be a pop star. I wish I could sing in front of people without fucking having a panic attack and crying. There is nothing more that I enjoy than this is like my special little time with myself. That sounds fucking creepy as shit. But in the morning when I do the dishes, I put on songs that I can just like sing and I give the performance of my life and it just feels so fucking good for whatever reason to like sing and dance in inhibited like I'm not worried about the way that I look because nobody's around it's just me and it's just like the most freeing activity that I do it does something with my soul like my soul feels at home it feels free when I sing and dance in my living room by myself so I think in another life, I was a fucking pop star. I am way too anxious in this lifetime for all that. Also, I can't fucking sing. I'm not a good singer. <laughs> I can't find the key. Okay, the makeup is looking so good. I'm so happy. My makeup has looked a million times better ever since I went back to the old products that I was using. <sighs> Thank God. It's 8.14. I just did that in 15 minutes. Slay. I'm just gonna do something really basic with eyes. I've been on a very like simple eye makeup wave lately. I'll just do like a very small subtle wing to accentuate my natural eye shape and that's fucking it. If I can leave here latest 840, that would be so ideal. Pre-game is at nine, party bus at 10. I cannot express to you how much I fucking love a lash lift. I got one before Halloween. It literally is such a fucking game changer. It makes me feel so good. I don't have to wear as much mascara to get the curl. Gorge. It's 8.25. I'm just gonna slick my hair, I think. Because my hair is greasy and it won't take as long if I just fucking slick that shit. <sighs> okay. It's done. This is what a fucking good makeup day looks like. And with NARS... You can have good makeup days every fucking day. Not an ad, but should be. I'm gonna do my hair, oh my God. I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, hair is done. I'm gonna check the weather really quick. I just wanna make sure that the outfit that I have planned for this is not totally gonna be like too cold or too hot. The high is gonna be 66. Okay, so I am gonna be a little cold, I think, but I completely forgot to tell you guys. So last time we did not make it to the frats, but that's okay because this time we're going to the frats. This group of friends used to be in the frats, so it's gonna happen. They, they're they gonna wanna go to the frats. <sighs> so 
Anyways, that being said, once we're drinking a little bit and we're gonna be on a party bus, so it's gonna be like warm on the bus. And once we go to the frats, there's gonna be a lot of bodies. So I'm gonna be fucking fine, basically. And if I am cold or if I am too hot, I'm just gonna fucking deal with it because this is the outfit I'm wearing and I have no other options. I'm wearing shorts and a cute little bikini top. So basically you understand what I'm saying by I'm either gonna be too cold or too hot. My legs are completely out, so they're gonna be fucking freezing, and this is a whole ass windbreaker. So when I'm in the fucking frats on the fucking bus, I'm gonna be hot as shit. But whatever. It's 8:50. We did that in 50 minutes. That's like a fucking record. Okay, we're gonna go. I haven't eaten breakfast. Whatever. Let's have a good fucking day. Also, I don't remember if I said this when I was ranting about the whole friend situation. My cat is like yelling at me outside of the door. Hi, say hi. She looks like a fucking cartoon character, I swear to God. Her eyes. Anyways, I can't remember if I said this when I was talking about the whole friend situation and allowing space for negative feelings, but I just, I was thinking about it all during my hair and I just wanted to clarify. When you make enough space to allow yourself to feel bad, you allow enough space for those bad feelings and the good feelings, if that makes any sense. I feel sad about my friend, but I also, I'm gonna have a good fucking time today. And I had a really fun time getting ready with you despite feeling sad. And that is because I'm allowing the space for that emotion to exist, which also gives space for the good parts of life to exist. So, is it always that simple? No, but I don't want something to ruin a day that I've been looking forward to for so long. So that's the tea. And <laughs> we're gonna go now, bye. We're gonna go now. Skr, skr. Okay, guys. I am at my friend's house. I just got here. Before we go in and face the chaos that is a pregame, I'm gonna take my little Z-Biotic. This is a pre-alcohol drink. I explain it in my Halloween vlog, so I don't really feel like explaining it again. You can watch it if you are curious, but yeah, this basically just prevents hangovers. So cheers. I actually think I should have taken it before I left my house, but I wasn't really thinking. Cause I think you're supposed to wait like 30 minutes after drinking this little drink to start drinking. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Let's go, I guess. Wait, I kind of cheers. How we doing? Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Game day. I know, I see, no, I know. I was seeing Ari and I'm walking to class. Got, this person where'd hates you, me. You, I don't know what it is, but she hates me. Honestly, that's quite the a The resting bitch face. <laughs> I know, bro. I, I know. Like, it's so bad. My RBF is really bad. I also just get scared of people. Let's have the where best day ever. Yeah. Because if you know, I'm the glue, I'm the glue yeah. holding people together. So I leave and everyone simple. starts fighting, right? So. Okay, drama. So I'm drinking apple cider, champagne, and tequila, which sounds foul apparently, but it's really not. Absolutely. It's 10 30 in the morning. Okay, so the bus is here apparently. We're gonna take another shot, apparently. Okay, cheers. I actually don't know why I'm amazing at taking shots today. We grew the skill overnight. I think it's because this tequila that we're drinking, look, they put it in the freezer out of consideration for people who are gonna be drinking this and how sweet. But it makes such a difference randomly. And this chaser is apple cider, so it's amazing. Wait, this is me and Ari. 
we took really cute pictures. Everyone say we look so pretty. La 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 la. La 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 la. Olivia's motto is la 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 la. Because we don't think that hard over here. Period. Me with the whole rant in the morning, thinking so hard. The duality of being a woman. My battery's dead. Bye. wanted to like wake up in the morning and <laughs> like whatever cat hair cat hair I can't remember if Everything that matters is because you're thinking really hard about it. And like last night was like, they're mad at me, like they hate me, like I'm freaking out. Stop thinking that hard. Why do you even think that hard? Why do you yeah, notice yeah. when people are mad at you? Who cares? Wait, but I have like anxiety. So do I. I have the most crippling anxiety. Did I tell you? No. What happened to you? 